Why would the Saudis want enrichment capability? Is there any good reason for having it? And the answer is, there is no commercial uh, rationale for Saudi Arabia to have commercial enrichment sites. None, absolutely none. They don't have the scale of the program. There is no shortage of enriched uranium. It's gonna be a hell of a lot more expensive if they try to do it, is it and so on. If they want to commercialize- made against Iran, I should mention. Yes, this is a similar case here. Yeah. Yes, but, but Iran, yes, indeed. But Iran already has some kind of a nuclear culture and some kind of a nuclear infrastructure and so on. Saudi Arabia has none. So I think sort of Iran does have some uh, fairly uh, wide scope IEA safeguards. Uh, Saudi Arabia has only the most minimal of those and so on. So in essence, yes, I would make the same arguments around about Iran, but I would say they're 10 times worse with respect to Saudi Arabia. Look, ideology, the Saudi Arabia regime doesn't doesn't come into factor for you. I mean, we're talking about Iran, you know, with their you know revolutionary ambitions. Saudi Arabia on the verge of peace with Israel in this case, but still, you think the risks are much greater I, with, I, with the Saudis? I, I, what I'm saying is, one could contemplate, as was implied in your questions, some halfway arrangements, which would be more reassuring and create less of a precedent. As for the regime, if you were to guarantee regime stability. <laughs> But I remind you that not long ago, I mean, the, the crown prince had arrested most of the Saudi elite and, and imprisoned them in a kind of a royal hotel and, and so on. The stability of Saudi Arabia, both politically and from terrorism point of view, uh, is, not forgive, is not given. The fact that Saudi Arabia, including its capital, was targeted by, nuclear, by, by missiles from the Houthis is also a, a point to be considered. So all I'm trying to say is, Leaving aside what the regime's intentions are in doing so against economic rationale, there is also all kinds of issues associated with the particular aspect of Saudi Arabia. Would I be willing to take some risks in order to promote Saudi normalization with Israel? Yes, but those risks have to be very, very carefully calibrated. And I, I, we don't know that those for the moment are actually being seriously confronted. On the other hand, we don't know that they're not. So what is still in public in sort of in quietly being discussed are all the limitations and safeguards that would be imposed on the Saudi nuclear program. And some of them might diffuse some of the most acute aspects of my concern.